Hello, welcome. We've got another example here of subtracting polynomials. And I'm gonna, in the video before this, I'm gonna use some similar strategies, but I'm also gonna finish kind of solving it a different way. And this is actually the way I prefer. So let me first start by repeating some of the things I said in the last video. First of all, polynomials. It means many terms, and these are the terms here. All the things separated by pluses and minuses, assuming you can't simplify it. So we have one, two, three, four, five terms, and then one, two, three, four uh, terms in the second. And they say we're subtracting, and that's what you're seeing right here. Okay, so that's the, the basics understanding of what to expect in this problem. Um, in the last video, I said, suggested at least, that you rewrite everything in terms of addition, and then reorder it. So I did this, so we have minus six here, so it's plus negative six. This is already a plus a plus, so leave it alone minus 8d is plus negative, and then over here, plus negative 1. The reason I do that is to use the commutative property. I can now reorder everything, largest powers first, and without losing value. So this is my largest power in the first one, d to the fifth. I'll put that first. Then I have plus negative 2d to the fourth. I'll write minus 2d to the fourth. Then I have a squared. I don't, I don't see a cubed. So you might put a zero d cubed in there. I'll do that actually. I'm going down my powers five, four, and I, I want a, I want a three in there. So if I don't see it, I put it in there usually. Zero d cubed, and then d squared plus one d squared, or just d squared, plus negative eight d is really just minus eight d, and then plus negative six is really just minus six. So now I've reordered the first polynomial, and um, then I do the same thing in the second. The largest power first, d to the fifth. And then I don't see a fourth or a third or in this. So I'm going to write, well, let me just write this. I, put this. Uh, I have d to the fifth, excuse me, and then plus 0d to the fourth, plus 0d to the third, and then plus 7d squared, and then minus 1 to just mean it. Now here I have the largest to smallest powers. Why do I like to do that? And why, why bother writing those zeros in there? Because now what I like to do, in the last video I distributed the subtraction sign. You can always do that. So I rewrote every single term with the opposite sign and simplified, but I actually, that usually confuses me. What I like to do is this, I like to rewrite this. So I'm gonna rewrite it with my first polynomial, this thing here, as 2d to the fifth, minus 2d to the fourth, write the whole thing out, plus 0d cubed, plus d squared, minus 8d, minus 6. And then I rewrite the second polynomial beneath it as a subtraction. So I write minus, and then I'm subtracting the whole thing. So I write d to the fifth, plus 0d to the fourth, plus 0d cubed, plus 7d squared, and then I should have wrote in here, sorry, a zero d to the first, and then minus one. Now, this is the way I like to do it because it reminds me of place value and subtraction with numbers. So I think if this is my largest place value, let's subtract first. Okay, so what does that mean? I've got two d's, two groups of d to the fifth. I have two of them, and I take one away. So then I have one left is d to the fifth. And if you don't like that explanation, just remember if the variables are the same, you have d and d, and the powers are the same, you can just subtract or add, or whatever the operation is, the numbers in front. So two minus one is just one. You don't even need to write it there. I'm gonna write it in, but you don't need to. Next we have negative two groups of d to the fourth. So we have two angry groups, I think of emotions here with positive and negative. We have two angry groups of d to the fourth. And, but we're not taking any away, we're taking zero away. So we still have our two groups, our angry groups of d to the fourth. And again, negative two minus zero. I know you see a plus here, but remember we're subtracting everything. It's still negative two. Now this one I'm not gonna write down because zero minus zero is just zero. Over here, if I forget, I put a one there. So I have one group of d squared and then we're subtracting positive seven positive groups away. You have one, you subtract seven, one minus seven is negative six, d squared, and then negative eight d 
minus no d to the f d's, groups of d, is just negative 8. And then negative 6, we're subtracting negative 1. Remember, that's negative 6 minus negative 1, or just negative 6 plus 1, and that's negative, negative 5. And I just, I missed that d right there. So what would this answer be? Well, I'm going to rewrite it here. d to the fifth minus 2d to the fourth minus 6d squared minus 8d minus 5. And that's it. All right, I hope that helps.